We're dealing with a fourth degree polynomial. And typically, because we have an A that's greater than one, students are going to want to come in and either use the slip and slide or AC method, which does work. However, always check for the GCF. So here, we're able to pull out a GCF of 3x to the second power. And once we take that out, we're left with x squared minus 11x plus 30. So now when we focus on what's inside the parentheses, we want two factors that are going to give us 30 when we multiply and 11 when we add. And because of that positive 30, we know they're going to have the same sign. So we have 3x squared. And if I want a negative 11x, that means we're going to have to do x minus 5 times x minus 6. When we multiply, we'll get positive 30. And when we add, we'll get the negative 11x. So always try to take out a GCF, if possible, when you have a lead coefficient and you're factoring.